Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a essentials must have haul video. I don't know what I'm going to call it. These are things that I've felt like I definitely needed this time around. There's definitely some splurges that you don't need to do. But um, yeah, let's just get into it. The first thing is a breastfeeding pillow. I featured this in my previous haul. Um, however, I thought I'd add it on this one just because I think it is a must have. This one was £13 from TK Maxx. They are definitely really helpful. Um, with my daughter, I didn't buy one. I thought I would just get away with not doing it. And my back would really hurt because I'd have to like slouch over to like breastfeed her. Even if you're not nursing, if you're breastfeed, if you're breastfeeding, if you're bottle feeding, this is still really handy because you can still pop it on you and you're not like hunching over giving them the bottle. Also, this you can use it to like sit them up when they're like starting to sit up. You can just pop them in there so that they don't like fall. Um, so, oh. Oh look, got a little, if you can see the one inside, but he's just like laying down. And then this, that's the one I was talking about. Um, but yeah, it's just really handy, really nice. Then I bought a bath support. This one is, the colour is exclusive to Mother Care, the grey, and I knew I wanted the grey. This is the Angel Care. Yeah, Angel Care Soft Touch Buff Support. Um, they sell them absolutely everywhere, but the blue one, I was finding that it's like an aqua blue and I weren't really feeling it. I thought this is really awkward to hold. Um, I weren't really feeling it. So I found this one on Mother Care and I absolutely love it. Um, I know it'll be really handy to pop in it, to pop him in here. Because he's not my first baby, um, it would just be easier to like bath both my kids at the same time um, and just to like pop him here so that, you know, I can multitask. It'll be really handy. Of course, I would never leave him like unattended in it, but um, yeah, it'll be really handy. Then I have a changing mat. With Lily, I invested in a changing table and I used it like twice it would just become like a dumping ground where all her like clean clothes would just go until i could bother to fold them um so i just bought one of these you can just pop it on the floor you can pop it on the bed you can just change them whatever you need to change them which is just the handier part this one was from mother care and it was like 20 quid um but it's got like really cute it's like really sweet it's gray as you can see i really like gray um but yeah that one is an awesome one then we invested in a sleepy head um i have heard awesome things about the sleepy head um yeah i've heard great things about it my daughter didn't really sleep very well she would wake up throughout the night for quite a while so um anything that would like help me to like help this baby sleep better um, i will take the next thing is the car seat the car seat is your main must have like you need to buy a car seat just to get out of the hospital uh we bought the maxi cozy cabrio fix i think it's called so you could buy like a way more expensive car seat you can definitely buy the um, cheaper car seats um but i just think that this is a nice in between um and it's cute the next thing is a rocker we were going to buy the mamaru the mamaru one but i just think it's just so so pricey and I just felt like you could buy a similar one that would do the same things but that was like a lot cheaper and a lot less heavy like the Mamaru one is like really big and like really heavy so we went for I don't know what it's called I don't know the brand of it but I will write it somewhere it's really nice it's quite neutral it's got like browns it's got whites and beiges and everything that i like it works nicely we have tested it with all of lily's toys she loves turning it on for her toys 
the next thing is a buggy uh again i keep like bringing it back to my first pregnancy but in my first pregnancy we had like quite a cheapy buggy we couldn't afford very much um we had the cheapest travel system that there was basically um and i always wanted a bugaboo buggy like always i remember since i found out i was pregnant i saw this lady with a bugaboo and i was like i want this buggy and then i looked into it and it was so expensive and i was like i'm never gonna be able to get it so i just kind of got over it and we got the one that we got i can't remember what it was called it was this like beige color it was it was just not good um this time round, we bought the bugaboo chameleon 3 i'm really happy with it i am so excited to use it i built it the other day it's like ready to go ready to have my baby in it and i just can't wait um the last thing is somewhere for the baby to sleep um i had a moses basket and it was horrible um i i put her in it like twice or three times because I was breastfeeding so you know you have to like get up and like move her and stuff and it was just such a faff so i knew i didn't want a moses basket this time around because i feel like it was definitely a waste last time but we have no space right now for a crib so um i looked into a co-sleeper and i was i mean i don't know if this anymore but it was in between the chico next to me or this news pod and I was just sold on this new spot. It was the design of it. They're about a similar price. And I just felt like wooden was just nicer. It would just go with my room a lot better. It was just a lot like slicker and just clean and nice. Um, I love that it's got like one of the sides that folds down and you just it's like an extension of your bed almost um then they can stay in this new spot up until six months i think that's all that we've bought that are like big things that i feel like are essentials um when the baby's born i'd love to do a newborn essentials like i love watching those videos and i'd love to see would i find an essential um i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video um and until my next one i'll see you guys soon bye